Hello, Lisa. Hello, Julia. How are you doing? <laughs> Great, thank you. I'm doing really well. Really very, good. very, very nice to see you. So, uh, just to remind everybody, you drove a thousand miles. Yeah. <laughs> dropped a van of supplies off that were d donated from the UK. Yes. So you drove from England to Poland. And now you're volunteering at Viva Poland Sanctuary. Yes. And probably what a lot of people don't know is that there are horses here too. There are. So there tell are. us a little bit about what you're doing and about the horses, how well, many? And... There are over 40 horses here. Um, they come here from all different environments and all different circumstances, but they are all so happy. Horses is my background. Um, and I've never been with a herd of horses that are just so happy and their energy is just beautiful. Oh, hello. <laughs> this is Monogram. What a handsome horse he you are. He is very handsome. Isn't he gentle? Look and this is the beautiful Mona. Oh, they're so beautiful. They are so beautiful. I don't know if you know, but the launch campaign for Viva Poland was actually against the horse meat trade. Yes. Because a lot of horses then were going from Poland not because Polish people were eating them, but they were going to places like Italy, where they were, of course. Yeah. And they were going through these horrendous live transport live conditions export. as well. Yeah. And Polish people were very much on our side. <laughs> and even advertising agencies gave us free ads and stuff. But sadly, I know that some of these horses at the sanctuary today have been rescued from the horse meat trade. So it's still sadly going on. What do you actually do then? What have you been doing as a vol? So on my first day, first I needed to learn a few Polish words because my <laughs> Polish was zero. And so I've done my best. I've been looked after by one of the wonderful uh, staff here, um, Dorota. She's uh -huh. taken me under her wing. She's taught me some Polish. She's taught me the names of the horses. And then I just followed her lead. So my day to day is come in at eight o'clock and hay the horses, give their feeds out um, and muck the stables out, turn them out into the fields, just normal stuff. Um, but it is just so beautiful here. It really is. And the horses are just so happy. There's a lot of space, isn't there? Yeah. They're out in the daytime, basically. Yes. How wonderful on days like this too. They get fed, they get brushed, they get thoroughly checked over to make mm -hmm. sure there's no issues. They haven't knocked themselves in the night. Um, mm -hmm. And then they're let out into this field where mm -hmm. they're able to just display real, honest herd behavior, mm -hmm. which is beautiful to watch and just teaches mm -hmm. you so much. Mm -hmm. It is, and it's quite unusual because you see a lot of people keeping horses on their own back in the UK. Yes. Which is so sad for a herd animal. Yes. Um, and it's lovely to see them as natural, really, yeah. as a domesticated horse can be. Yeah, to see it here is mm. just beautiful. It's heartwarming. It is heartwarming. Horses being horses. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Exactly. The way they're meant to be.